Well, welcome back, guys. Thank you, everyone who's been watching the videos lately. Um, we're trying to do what we can, bring you some nice little content. The stuff that me and Rob are doing going, seems to be going down well. Loads of great comments, so thank you very much, everyone who's watched that, and click that subscribe button. Now, the last tackle room video I did, I did it on um, how to tie my running feeder rig, which is right here, ready to go. Now, a few people have asked, because I, I mentioned that I use um, like shock leaders all the time, um, often one meter shock leaders on the end of my rig, um, seven meter if I'm doing distance fishing, but one meter for my sort of general day-to-day -day sort of feeder fishing. Um, they want to just know about the shock leader knot, which is fully understandable. Now the knot I use is, um, uh, it's actually a, a loop knot and then the blood knot onto it. So the loop knot in the braid and then the uh, shock leader is then blood knotted onto it. Um, it's a knot, that I, a connection that I sort of saw Bob Nudd doing in a magazine must be 20 years ago um, and when I started going to Ireland with my dad that was the only knot I could tie um, so that's the one I went with and I've used it ever since. Um, anglers like Steve Ringer use it which is good enough for me. Now I'm sure there's better knots and more compact knots and stuff like that but the big reason I like to use this knot is because I have rigs set up on foam spools uh, ready to go throughout my session so if I do have a tangle or a, a catastrophe like a crack off not that it happens very often with 15 pound shock leader but if I do have it, I can just, my rig's already tied up on the, on the, fo on the foam spool, and then I can just tie a new one on. If I was to do um, like a water knot or something like that that involves pulling the whole uh, length of line through the knot, it would be quite difficult to get my swivel and that through the knot. It just makes things more awkward. So that is another reason why I do it, because I believe it's like a fast change sort of knot and a fast change connection. Now, simple stuff really when it comes to tying the knot. The key thing is, the loop should be in the thinner material. So when it's your main line, um, whether that's mono or braid, your main line is gonna be the thinnest section of, of your rig. So I use the uh, Absolute Feeder Braid. I use 010 for most of my fishing. I know a lot of people use 012, but I've just always used 010 um, and it works for me. So all I do is a, a single figure of eight knot in the end of the braid. I'll do this as a close up too. So a single figure of eight uh, loop knot, Dead simple, get yourself some real sharp scissors as well, so important that is when you're using any sort of braid, get yourself some sharp scissors because you just you want to make life easy, so we'll just trim that. Trim your knots as close as you can. Um, some anglers advocate using long tags and stuff like that, which is fine if, that, if that's something that you've used yourself then that's great, but um, I just like to cut everything nice and, nice and tight to the, to the knot. So I've got my loop in the end of my braid. And I'm just going to measure off roughly a metre of shock leader. And just give that a trim. Now, simple knot. Like I say, I'll do it a close-up as well so you can see it better. But I just pass the mono, the shock leader in this instance, through the braid loop. Like that. And then I go around four times. Um, you can, if, you, if I was using a thinner shock leader, I'd probably go around five times, but the thicker shock leader makes that a bit difficult. So four times is enough. So twist it around them, around itself four times. There we go. Then bring the tag end back up through the loop. Simple as that. Nice, neat knot. Moisten it and pull it down at the same time. So pull the tag and the shock leader at the same time and the braid. So you sort of use your teeth on the tag and your hand on the main line and the shock leader. So teeth on the tag, pull them all simultaneously and you'll see that knot close down. And that for me is perfect. It won't, doesn't slip, it's strong, it's simple, and I can change my rig throughout the session if I need to. That is as simple as it is. It's, um, like I say, it's a loop in the braid, a blood knot, a blood knot the shock leader onto the braid and that is it, that's as simple as it gets. It's discreet, it goes through the rod rings fine, it's strong, it's never let me down. Um, so I see no reason to change how I do it. I'm sure if you, if you were fishing, you know, for marlin and stuff like that, you, know, you could use a more sophisticated knot on this, it wouldn't be strong enough. But for our fishing, coarse fishing, this is plenty strong enough. So there you go guys, another little tip video there. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button, give us a like. Thank you very much and we'll see you again soon.